Hello everybody, welcome to my uh, look at the Chaos Dwarves from the Nova Open preview. Um, as you can see there's this uh, nice picture here. You can see the bull centaurs there at the back, some of the hobgoblins, a couple of the chaufs. Basically the whole team is in this one picture isn't it? And you can see the new board. The new board looks quite nice I think. Um, clear squares is nice isn't it with the lava things there but uh, who knows obviously what the uh, what the special rules will be nobody really knows um, but yeah look I think I think they look great actually the new chaffs uh, so I just look here on the website I'll link it in the description they've got a bit of fluff for why they uh, haven't been around for a long time and yep yeah, just some more pictures of the team there all the all the teams all the players in the box bit more fluff <laughs> and here's the hobgoblins so here's like your basic hobgoblins that you get um, I assume they're unchanged, but who knows, right? They, they're going to have passing, the, the new passing skill. They're probably going to be not great at passing. Um, but yeah, they get Hobgoblin, Lineman, presumably unchanged. Um, you know, so that'll be like Movement 6, Strength 3, Agility 3+, plus, Passing 4+, plus maybe, and AV 8+, plus, uh, 40k. Um, but you know, there's no, there's no prices or anything. Um, and yeah, here's the... And they look all right. Like they look like hobgoblins, right? Pretty much unchanged. Pretty much. I guess they look a bit more orc and goblin-y. Uh, they've got the classic, the classic, uh, you know, scale male type type stuff there. So yeah, there's hobgoblins. And then you've got the chorf blockers here. Chaos dwarf chorf. And they've got the big hats still. Very nice. Love to see like the modern, the modern chaos dwarf style, but then with the you know somewhat old school helmets. I think it's. I think these models are great. I actually love the models. I, I can't. I can't lie. I do love the models. Normally, I don't like the new uh, the new Blood Bowl models, but I really do like the uh, the Chaos Dwarf ones. So there you go. Now here's the new. Here's the first of the new things. And oh, so yeah. So the Chaos Dwarf blockers. They used to be um, 70k movement four, strength three, agility four plus, passing would be what five plus or something i guess um and av 10 plus they block tackle thick skull they are changing tackle to iron hard skin to represent them kind of like you know turning to stone a little bit now the interesting thing is they're also revamping iron hard skin and they're making so in the blood bowl you know second season rule book iron hard skin is only against claw and it was a rubbish skill and nobody ever took it and everybody laughed at it and it, how terrible it was so now it works against everything it will work against dirty player it will work against foul assist it will work against mighty blow um and of course it will still work against claw so it's it's usually going to be better than plus av because it'll you know i don't know it's it's it's, it's not it's not even that close obviously it's better against claw it's better against gang fouls but against a no assist foul, you'd rather have the plus AV, right? And against Mighty Blow, you'd rather have plus AV because it just helps you in general as well. So, so it's it's interesting. Like it, it's it's definitely a decent skill um, instead of just absolute trash as it was when it's only against Claw. It was way too narrow before, and now protecting against gang fouls particularly and and, and Mighty Blow, it's decent decent skill. Plus, of course, you can actually stack it by you can take plus AV and then and then have Iron Hard skill as well for like say a Chaos Warrior or a Nurgle Rotter. So I think actually the Iron Hard skin is going to be more interesting for Chaos Warriors and uh, bloaters on the Nurgle team. But it's it's okay on the chaffs. Like losing tackle is huge, right? Like, let, let's be honest, losing tackle is huge. The big thing about Chaos Warriors, well, they had six tackle players, and while they were mostly strength three. You know, so they kind of somewhat struggle against bash teams. At least they had loads of tackle to deal with the agility teams and like the uh, hybrid teams. Losing tackle is going to be a big deal for that. But you know, they are more resilient against the bash teams. That they're not going to get mighty blowed as much. They can't really get gang fouled out, which is you know a great strategy is to just gang foul a chaos dwarf blocker and then get get you know get them down a player. So it's actually it's it's really decent there uh, there it's not it's not so bad losing the tackle but they are going to feel it particularly like uh, the bigger thing with chaos dwarves is the break tackle nerf but um anyway here's a bit of exciting magical spice with the new flame smiths so you know they look like blockers right they they don't look different they're still just chaos dwarves 
Maybe they'll have passing access. Maybe they'll be plus movement or something. Um, who know, maybe they'll be minus AV because they haven't got hats. Uh, it's sad that they don't have hats, and they'll presumably be a bit more be a bit more expensive because they have. Well, let's let's skip down to the new rule. They've got a new rule here: breathe fire. So these guys, it's basically like a stab or a chainsaw. Well, I guess more like a chainsaw, right? So you can use it as a blitz. And, um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you can read it. You can read it. It's like a chainsaw. So on a one, you hit yourself. Two or three, nothing happens. And on a four plus, they get knocked over. Well, they're place prone, yeah, so there's there's no AV roll. So so it's interesting in that it's like... It's it's not really very good, is it, right? You'd rather be hitting things with a chainsaw, but at least you, you don't have the negative impact of the plus three AV for holding a chainsaw. You'd probably rather be stabbing, honestly, because then you're getting armor rolls. Um, the fact that you're not getting the armor rolls on the four plus is pretty sad. Pretty sad, honestly. Um, if you get a natural six, you get, you get the armor roll. And uh, also you get a minus one versus strong things. So versus like strength five, you know, ogres or whatever. One or a two, you knock yourself down. <laughs> and only a five or a six, you don't even... Well, on a five, you place them prone. And on a six, you um, you knock them down. So it's, it's very, very much... Oh, and it's like stab in that the player's activation immediately ends. That doesn't that doesn't happen for vomit for uh, trolls. Lots of people seem to think it does. Trolls can totally just you know make a blitz action, move two squares, vomit, and then move another square or two. Um, so this does stop their activation like stab. So it's very limited, very very limited breathe fire. Um, unfortunately, if it had a range of two squares, I think it would be overpowered in the extreme because you would just have you guys behind the LOS and you would get one would you would you know shoot flame knock somebody over well place them prone then the other good guy could blitz the ball and stuff it would be it would be kind of open up crazy plays having them even even a two square range would be incredible but the fact that you've got to be adjacent uh, like a stab or a or a vomit or a chainsaw makes this very limited and I don't think you will you will be very very rarely see it. It's it seems so bad. The fact that you know presumably chaos Wars will keep strength access and have lots of guard. You're just not going to need it often. What's interesting is I think they could lose mutation access because when you think about it, chaos Wars don't really mutate like uh, chaos and Nurgle teams do. So um, so they might just lose mutation access altogether. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised. The cost could come down, you know, this, the Lyman instead of being 70k could be 60k. I, I, I think that's quite reasonable to even hope for that. But yeah, I'm not a fan of these guys. Hopefully they're not too expensive because uh, I do not like them. You know, it, it can be cool and all, but it's the idea is fun. The execution is, is not powerful. And they've got these stab guys, sneaky stabbers, uh, just like the sneaky gits, isn't it, in the, in the uh, old Warhammer. And these, these, unfortunately, they're not that cool. They've got shadowing and stab. If they had sneaky git and stab, you know, which they used to be called sneaky gits, right? Like, that would be great if they had sneaky git and stab, but they have shadowing and stab. And shadowing is basically worthless. Stab isn't great. Depends how much they cost. You might not want them at all competitively um, if they cost too much. But, you know, they look cool. And they're hobgoblins, so, you know. It, it, you, you might get them also in like NAF, NAF style tabletop if you've got a few points left. You obviously, you might as well just upgrade them then. But um, yeah, not too good. So the box has, you know, two two of the flame breathing guys, two of the stabbers, and then four each of um, Chaos Wolves and Hobgoblins. And then you've got to buy these from Forge World, the Bull Centaurs, which are obviously amazing. Like they're gigantic. They look strength five. Historically, they've always been... Well, historically, they started off with a star player, Hathark the Unstoppable, who was strength 6, the same as Morgan Thorg and Ripper Bolgrot. So, they actually they actually started as strength 6, and then they made big guys strength 5. So, really, you, you could see Bull Centaurs being strength 5 base. And they probably should be looking at the absolute size and mass of them. Like, they are gigantic. Uh, it, it could happen. It, it seems crazy that these guys are only strength 4. I feel like there's a danger of them being overpowered if they're strength 5, so I don't think they will be strength 5. Also, I don't think they'll get horns, right? They're just helmets. 
but um, historically, movement six, strength four, agility four plus, armor ten plus. Who knows what the passing would be? They've got the opportunity to give them a high passing because why not, right? Like they're strong, they could they could throw it far. That would be all right. And then a uh, sprint and sure feet and thick skull. So I imagine they'll keep all of that stuff. And uh, I, I guess these guys won't get Iron Hard Skin because it's the Chaos Dwarves that kind of turn to stone. So I imagine these guys won't get Iron Hard Skin. And obviously, fouling out Bull Centaurs is a great strategy. Um, what's really hurt Bull Centaurs in this edition is the Break Tackle nerf. Um, break Tackle used to make them dodge on a 2 plus. Now, once per turn, now Break Tackle, because they're only strength 4 only makes them dodge on a three plus. So um, unless they get like a buff to agility, which would be an incredible, I think this is the big weakness of, of Chaos Wars in the new edition. And that's not not gonna change unless they change Bull Centaurs. And then when you combine that with a tackle, yeah, they're, they're gonna really struggle versus like agility teams, uh, unfortunately. So yeah, they, they talk here about the replacing tackle with Iron Hard Skin and the fact that they're gonna change uh, Iron Hard Skin for no modifiers and yeah you know like they say they've got this blockers so so maybe the flamesmiths you know they could be movement five or or you know higher agility or something they could do something like that as well and yeah it mentions their shadowing and stab and of course they've still got access to the minotaur so that's nice or minotaur if you're american and uh, there's the new spike 18 looks you know some nice art and there you go, that is that is the new Chorf team. And uh, well, we can finish up with this screen as well. So yeah, you can see the models there. I think they look brilliant. Um, if, if they were better in game, I'd definitely be buying them honestly and playing them. But for me, I think I can't see them holding up either in a league or maybe depending on the composition of a league, maybe. I don't think they're well suited to NAF style. Losing the tackle is massive, right? Like if you play a lot of games, like if let's say you had an orc team and you could give your blitzers iron hard skin or tackle for free if you're playing loads of games you'd rather have the iron hard skin but if you know naf style you just really want tackle they're really good the lack of tackle is really going to hurt them naf style um but you know we don't know we don't know the costs right rerolls used to be 70k what if they make rerolls 50k what if they make hobgoblins 35k what if they make hobgoblins worse agility so we don't know any of the stats um, so it's all conjecture, but here you go. Then, the, the, you know, there was this this video and stuff they talked about and the web page came out, so I thought I'd make a video on it. Why not? And uh, when we get more information, I can make more. Oh, a big thing is they get three star players, and what they could potentially have is Chosen of Hashut as their, uh, as their Chosen of special rule. And then, so some of the stars could be Chaos Dwarf exclusives, right? Only Chosen of Hashut. So, for example, Hathark the Unstoppable will surely be chosen of a shut only. Um, and then maybe, you know, I guess they had the, the guy who had like a uh, a blunderbuss, didn't they? Maybe they'll bring him back, Sarg Marai. And then I guess a new one. Who knows? Who knows what they'll do? Um, <laughs> but but what when whenever they do, I'll let you know. So there you go. That was my analysis of the new Chaos Dwarves. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.